Okay, so another day, another update to Jokemon Reborn. It's not quite an important one because it covers two new areas, not just one. So to start with, we've got Deep Snare Forest Flash Cove, as you can see on screen here. This is the first area. You need the Ocean Badge or the River Badge. The, the Water Gym Badge. You need the Water Gym Badge to access this area. To make sure you do get that badge beforehand. And to actually get to this area, you need to go to the riverbed and then go left. And there should be a little tunnel and you can go through it. The next new area just beyond the Deep Snare Forest and Cove is Evergleam City. Now this has a new gym, this is the Electric type gym. So be sure to bring some ground type Jokemon with you when you're battling this gym. Power Plant is here from the old Pokemon Reborn. It's like a labyrinth containing a puzzle which has these sort of symbols. And you need to guess the symbol in the correct order to open the gate which leads to the upstairs section of the Power Plant. Aside from the new areas, we now have some new Jokemon. You can see here on the screen, this is just some of them. I've not found all of them, I don't think, but you can get some sort of idea of the typing of Jokemon for the power plant, the new city, and also the fact that we've got the new forest and the new coat. So yeah, some new Jokemon, they look really cool. And you can also fill out your Jokedex even more, as you can see on screen here. Next, there are some new Joke Cube changes. As you can see, the Great Cube, I guess would look like this now. The Ultra Cube and the regular Joker Cube I assume also have been changed but I haven't checked those yet so be sure to check those out in game. There is now also a new change to Trion. Uh, before it was just regular green, it had like horns on its head I believe, like small green horns but now you can see it's got flowers and it looks much more um, decorated I guess is the word. That sounds so weird to call something decorated. You are decorated. Last but not least, we now have the Christmas event. The Christmas event has just dropped. We now have Christmas egg with some skins for the festive season. You can see right here I've unboxed some and got a few different, I think two different uh, Christmas skins. But you can see on the board here, all of the new skins. There's a uh, festive Sparky. I really want to get that. I feel like if I can get that, my my, my day is complete. But also, there's a festive run. That might be interesting to find. We'll try and find it. We'll see. But yeah, you guys can now open these eggs. You guys can get all of these skins. And yeah, just go ahead and open as many eggs as you can. To open these eggs, you need to get icicles. And the same way we did in Halloween update, you get icicles by fainting boss Jokemon, regular Jokemon, legendaries. You're going to need to faint a lot of regular Jokemon or... Be lucky enough to get a boss or a legendary but yeah that's all for me that's everything within this new update i personally think it's a really cool update i'm really happy that we actually have got some uh festive christmas uh skins pretty cool make sure you're hunting for those new skins from the eggs they don't apparently spawn in the wild as far as i'm aware um, so you won't be finding them in the wild like you did in Halloween. Unless that's a bug, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, go go hunt down those new festive skins in the egg. As always, the developers did a good job with this update in my opinion. And anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.